you're back and I'm very glad. In today's video, the sixth video in my series on how to make a professional website using WordPress, I'm going to show you how to use the WordPress customizer to completely change the look and feel of your website. Now, what is the customizer? Well, the customizer is a quick and easy way to access a lot of WordPress's functions that used to be buried in the dashboard somewhere. So it makes life a lot easier for users and it allows you to see a lot of the changes you're making in real time. So it's very cool. So let's get started on today's video and by the end of it, your site's gonna look a lot different. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do before we even get to the customizer is see if our website needs updating. And we can see right here, this little two means there are updates that need to be done. We can also see that in the dashboard, updates two. So let's go ahead and take care of those real quick. I'm going to click updates or I can click plugins, whichever you want to do. I'm going to click updates here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to select all and I'm going to click update plugins. Always update your site. It's important to keep your site running smoothly and securely. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my homepage by hovering over my name here and then clicking visit site. This is how you access the customizer. So now hover over your name again and then click customize. The first thing we see is that we can upgrade to Gateway Plus. What you will notice right away if you try different themes is that the customizer looks different with different themes. That's because theme authors put different features in the customizer. So you're going to have to get used to that. We're not going to upgrade to Gateway Plus right now. Okay, beneath this we see we can change themes. So click on change and now you will see all the different themes that you have installed on your website. Let's go ahead and preview 2015. That's what 2015 would look like on our site without doing any customizations to it. We're not going to use 2015 so let's go back to change here and we can preview other themes too. Let's preview 2014. Interesting. Change. So you can preview different themes that way. But we're going to stick with uh, Gateway, which is the one we already have activated. Okay, let's click on Theme Options. The first thing we see up here is the header. Let's click on that. Scroll down a little bit and we see that we can add a logo to this theme. You can click on Default here and it will add the default logo back in. Or you can choose your own image. I'm going to change image and choose my own, this one. Now, you can also upload a file from your computer by clicking on Upload Files here and then by clicking on select files. But I already have a logo in my media library, so I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click choose image. There's my logo, my boring channel. Cool. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I see the inner pages header background. Now what is that? So that is the image that appears when you click on other pages in your site. So if you click on my blog, you will see that it is the same image, but it is cut off a little bit and that's just the design of the theme. Each of your separate pages other than your home page will show a slightly smaller header. You can change this image to be whatever you want it to be or you can remove it completely if you want to have just a color at the top. So I just removed the image completely. Now I can change the color of the background like so. How about a medium gray like that? Okay now I will click save and publish. Now I have changed my logo and I've changed the inner pages header background. Now since we are on our blog page we will see blog here. If you click on that you can see that we can change the blog page title. Let's change it to my blog and you can see it change right here. Now you can either delete the blog page subtitle completely or you can add some text back in there. Whatever you would like. When you're done with that you can either click this back arrow to continue customizing or you can click Save and Publish. Okay, and, and we will move on to the next section, and that is Home, right here. Click that, and you will see you can change the Home background image, this one. So you can either remove it for a solid color, or you can change the image. I'm going to change the image. I like to create my header images in a program called Picasa, this program right here, Picasa. You can download it for free on Google. It will organize all the photos on your computer, and then you can easily edit them. It's a very cool program. I'll show you how I do it just real quick. Here's Picasa and here's the image that I've chosen. Normally this will say crop right here but it says recrop because I've already cropped this image. 
but I'm going to click recrop and then I'm going to click this little drop down arrow here and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and click add custom aspect ratio then I'm going to type in 2000 by 1142 because that is the suggested size for an image header in this theme and then I'm going to call it gateway theme and then I'm going to click OK so here's my crop box I can crop it like that and it will fit the website perfectly and then I will click apply and then I will click export down at the bottom and I'm going to export this image to my desktop or anywhere on my computer I'm going to export it to my desktop and to a folder called gateway theme now I want this to say 2000 because that was the width of my crop now I'm going to click export and now the image will be in this folder on my desktop called gateway theme great there's the image now I will go back to my website I'm going to click change image here I'm going to go to upload files here and then I'm going to click select files here keep in mind that you can upload any large file and WordPress will resize it nicely for you but I like to create my images in Picasa and then upload them already the correct size so I'm going to click on gateway theme here and then I'm going to upload this image now keep in mind that it's always important to add a keyword rich title and an accurate alternative text the alternative text allows readers with certain cognitive disabilities to know what the images on your website represent accurate alternative text also helps the search engines index your images appropriately I've gone ahead and added my alt text Mount Hood in the Golden Hour and I've changed the title that reminds me I didn't add alt text to my logo so I need to do that as well so there's my title my boring channel logo and my alt text my boring channel logo the letters M B C you want your alt text to describe the images as, as accurately as possible so now I will go back to this image and I'm gonna click choose image and we will finally see our site header change I really like this uh, background image but I don't really like my logo there on top of the mountain it doesn't look good but this is all part of creating a website trial and error I'm gonna go ahead and remove my logo for now so I'm gonna scroll back up I'm gonna click on header and I'm gonna remove the logo there we go now I will click this to minimize this menu I will go back to home here now under the home image I can choose whether I want the image to be fixed or whether I want it to scroll I like having it fixed that's a pretty cool effect when you scroll and the image doesn't move now you'll also notice that my home image seems smaller and it is it's because I haven't added things on top of the image like I'm going to here so just keep watching you'll see what happens now do I want to have a title here above my featured posts yes I do for now I'm just gonna call it my featured posts which is really boring I'll change it later and then I'm gonna add a section subtitle I will now type in this section subtitle check out my cool WordPress tutorials and then I'm gonna click Save and Publish I still don't see the title here so I'm gonna click refresh up here there it is so it reset this screen as well so let's go back to theme options and we were on the home section so we have added a background image we have made it fixed this is the color if no background image is being used here is the featured posts section title right here and here is the subtitle for the featured posts this is all just on the home page that's why we're in the home section here and remember the posts category here on the home page these will be the posts that we want featured the posts that we want to appear here so as the screen gets smaller these featured posts will then be stacked upon one another as the screen gets wider they will then appear in one two three like this so let's go ahead and minimize the home section here and move on to the footer in the footer all we can change is the text on the very bottom right here you can also use HTML code in here which they have done and they have copyright 2015 rescue themes all rights reserved I'm just gonna change this where it says rescue themes to my boring channel and then I'm gonna click save and publish you can add whatever text you want down there let's scroll down a little bit more and check out the style section in here we can change the main site-wide accent color and we can change the hover color 
So play around with those colors and see what you like. So I have finished going through the theme options and this is what we have done so far. We've changed the header image. We've changed this stuff here. We've learned how to put a logo on here if we want to. And we have added a little bit into the footer and we know how to change the site's colors. So let's go ahead and click this to go back to the main menu of the customizer. Here we are. Okay, now let's move down to the site title and tagline. Here, we will call this My Boring Channel. And you can see that appears here and that increases the size of our homepage image. And then I'll put in the tagline, I will say free WordPress tutorials for 2015. Now it didn't appear here and it just does that sometimes. I don't know why. So save and publish and refresh. And there it is. Now these changes should appear in real time as we go. So we've changed the site title and tagline. So let's minimize that section. And now let's look at the colors. Here we can change the background color. See that? That changes the background color of the site. We'll just stick with white for now, but you can experiment with different colors if you would like. Maybe we'll go with this light gray. Scroll down a little bit. There are your colors. Let's go ahead and minimize that. Now the next section is background image. If you click that, you can change your background image and that will appear down here. If we select a background image, choose image, it will appear all over the background of your website. So if you want a background image, I would suggest experimenting with some different background images. But for now, I'm just gonna leave mine a plain color. So let's go ahead and minimize the background image. Now let's open up the navigation section. In the navigation section, we can change our primary menu. In a previous video, we talked about how to customize your menus. You can make multiple menus and you can change them in here. This theme just supports this one menu. So we're going to leave it as main menu. Some themes support multiple menus. So you can change your menus here. The next section is the widget section. And this section is the one I like. So let's click this and we will see home hero footer left, footer middle, and footer right. So now we are going to add some content to our header image here. That's the home hero. And we are also going to add some content into our footer. So let's click on home hero and then click add a widget. Let's go ahead and add social media icons. This is a Jetpack widget. I don't really care for the big social title, so I'm gonna delete that. Now in this form, we have to add our usernames for our different social media sites. So I'm gonna add mine, my boring channel, my Twitter username, my Pinterest name, my boring channel, my LinkedIn username, my boring channel, my YouTube user ID, and we have now added social media icons into our header. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and collapse this uh, form here and then click Save and Publish. Okay, I'm gonna add another widget here and I'm gonna just add the text widget. I can give it a title here and that's what it'll look like, but I don't want that there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of text in this box. How about Visit Me Please? Now I kinda want my social media icons to be underneath the Visit Me Please. That's easy to do. So let's minimize this here. And then we can take our text widget and drag it above our social media icons widget. There we go. Now, what I would recommend is going through these widgets and trying different ones in your home header section and seeing what you like. You may find other widgets that look really good and that work for you on your website. So now I'm pretty pleased with the way this header looks. I have my title, my tagline, a little text above my social media icons. I'm happy. Let's go ahead and add some content into our footer now. So let's go ahead and minimize home hero and go to footer left. Let's go ahead and add blog subscriptions to our footer left. Let's leave this as is for now. Click close and go to footer middle. Let's add recent posts to our footer middle. We can put a title here 
and then we can decide how many posts we want to show. And then we can display the post date if we would like. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here and see what that looks like so far. So here's our left footer and here's our middle footer. That's looking pretty good so far. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize footer middle here and go to footer right. And then we'll add another widget. Let's go ahead and add our site's categories. And there they are. So we have our blog subscription form, we have our recent posts, and we have our categories. You can customize this however you want. You can add as many different widgets as you want in your footer, and you have these three sections to work with. I would recommend exploring a little bit and experimenting a little bit to see what you come up with. Now remember, if the screen is smaller, these footer sections will stack. And that is because the theme is responsive. And as your screen gets smaller, the theme automatically adjusts to the size of your screen so that on a mobile device, your theme will still look good. Keep in mind that each widget that you put into your site will have different options. So we can put different titles and we can also adjust things. Like for instance, if we want categories to display as a dropdown, we can just tick this box. And then our categories display as a dropdown. But I don't like that, so I'm going to untick that. So let's go ahead and minimize footer right. We have now gone through the widgets section, and in so doing, we have really changed the look of our site here. It's starting to come together. Let's go ahead and click back here to our main menu, and we see we have one more section down here, and it says static front page. If we click that, we will see that we can make the front page whatever page we want it to be, and we can make our blog page whatever page we want that to be. Now, we can make the front page display our latest posts as a typical blog, or we can make it be a static home page, which is what we have chosen to do for this website. So, that is the WordPress customizer in a nutshell. For each separate theme that you try and experiment with, you're going to see a lot of different options in here. It's not too difficult to just experiment, and then you will see the changes appear before you in real time most of the time. So we've done a lot today. We've changed our site title and tagline. We've added a new header image. We've added social media icons. We changed the color of our background. We changed this title and this subtitle. Here are our three featured posts. Our homepage content, which we will add more to later. And we now have stuff in our footer as well. We have learned a lot today. Good job. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you learned a lot. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the rest of my videos, which will be coming soon, one per week for the rest of the summer, hopefully. And be sure to check out my website, myboringchannel.com, to see all the things that I offer for free. Have a great day.